What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning into my channel. This the shade. But yeah, thanks for tuning into my channel. So this is going to be a channel message. All right. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you know when I post my content. <clears throat> also, um, if there are, are tarot readers hitting you up. Um, asking you for a reading those are scammers okay we don't come and ask you for readings you won't come to us all right so let's get into the channel message so um i was in meditation and i was meditating upon like design and how just things work and i guess like the matrix or whatever right but it's like i was thinking about how it was done for a reason so i heard for us by us so it's something about like collective creation or collective consciousness and i was like that sounds familiar like what have i heard i feel like i heard this before like that sentence altogether before and i was like that's a song so i looked it up and i was like oh that's by solange so <clears throat> I'm going to uh, link the song in the bottom or in the um, description bar uh, so y'all can listen to the song. If you want to listen to it before you start this reading, you can pause it right here and then come back after you're done um, watching the video. I really want to find the um, lyrics one. So, yeah. Great spirit, oh, already. Okay, so what came out is the three of pentacles, do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, <clears throat> and excellent reputation. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Hard work has led to a luxurious life, buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying your solitude. So I feel like whatever work, that you're doing or coming into, that's going to place you in the Nine of Pentacles energy here, okay? The energy of being able to have all your bills paid, right? Purchase, um, make large purchases. If there's something that you've been wanting, you can buy it. Like, I just feel like no more lack. Like, anything that you feel like you've been lacking, um, whatever this job is, this opportunity is, all right, it'll help you. For some of y'all, this could be something like some type of creative endeavor. All right, I see that it's coming really quickly. Yeah, y'all will be getting a message here soon. Okay, you have to take immediate action for something here. So yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is gonna help y'all balance out something here because I feel like something was imbalanced. Maybe your money was imbalanced. But um, let's tap into the tarot. But that's really good energy already. Spirit is saying do what you love because you'll find more success there. That's where all this money is going to come from. I'm getting like an abundance of it or like a windfall of it. So let's see. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is definitely about a job, some type of work. Ace of Wands. So definitely something passionate or creative, something that you like to do. A page of Wands. Okay, so this is going to be news coming in for sure. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. So some of you may not be telling people about this opportunity here because this is something that's going to change your life for the better. You're like celebrating by yourself or something like that. It's going to allow you to take control of something here really quickly. Maybe something that you've invested in. You can move forward in it victoriously, okay? Because there was a lot of like, um, you, have to, you were up against a lot of stuff, okay? 
But um, y'all will be getting help or something like that. Y'all be getting help and getting monetary. Also, people are just going to be helping you um, in just different ways, any way that you need. Okay, whatever way that is for you all. So let's tap in deeper to see whatever job this is or what this eight of energy is. Okay, but yeah, I'm definitely getting this is something that y'all have wanted or want. Something that you'll excel in, honestly, is what I'm getting. That's the Eight of Pentacles for Spirits. Too many cards. Can I have one, please? Okay, so we have the Moon. Okay, so you all probably manifested this during this past Moon cycle. Okay, so we have the Fool. So this is y'all taking a leap of faith. I'm getting into the Unknown. And now I'm hearing that Elsa song, <laughs> but yeah, um, now we're going into the unknown or something like that. And maybe this is something y'all have never done before, per se. Nine of Cups, but it's going to bring out a lot of happiness. Okay, this is like a wish fulfillment, okay? Something that you've really wanted, something that you've wished for. Okay, okay, we have the Seven of Cups, and this is after many options, okay? Like, there was many options or many things or jobs to choose from, but, um, or maybe even candidates is what I'm getting, many candidates to choose from, but they felt like you were the one that would fit the best. What's the Ace of Wands for the Spirit? This is a new beginning here, attachment new beginning, this could be even something creative because i'm really picking up on like creative energy all right this could be like a business that is creative where you are the creative one okay so we have the high priestess so we have a lot of um hush hush energy here what else for spirit what else ten of cups so yeah, whatever this is, y'all are definitely um, keeping it to yourselves. Uh, this is something that really it's like you don't want it disturbed is what I'm getting. So yeah, people are not going to know about this. Six of Wands, this is going to bring you great recognition. All right, so it's like you're not going to tell everybody until it's time is what I'm getting, but also where, whatever this is or wherever it is that you're going to be going or whatever it is that you're doing, you get a lot of recognition for your work or like whatever you put in, your, the energy that you put in. Um, for some of y'all also I'm getting, if you are a psychic or like you have intuitive gifts, um, you're getting recognized for that and that's actually something that you've really wanted. We have the Eight of Wands that came out, so something is happening very quickly. You'll be recognized very quickly for something here, maybe for some type of healing ability that you have or some type of gift that you have. All right, something that you do, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting maybe you're a writer or something like that. But whatever it is, right, this is something creative and you're getting recognized for it and it's happening quickly. This is something that you wanted, something that you prayed for. What's the um, page of wants for this spirit? Because I'm getting news here. Yeah, y'all expect good news. Okay, expect good news. Y'all know something's coming in. Y'all can feel it. All right. Um, I'm also getting move. You have to move on this quickly. Queen of Swords. Okay. Okay, yeah, you have to move on something quickly. Um, you'll know when to move on something is also what I'm getting. I'm also getting whatever this is, you're very, you're highly equipped for whatever this is. You're very intelligent and you're seen as very intelligent. Knight of Swords, you're seen as somebody that could get the job done. All right, quickly and efficiently, I'm getting efficiently, fearlessly, all right. Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah, this is definitely like work. It's going to take some work, but you got this. And it's definitely going to take you out of some type of lack, some type of poverty, okay? Because this is a gift from the universe. You're going to be getting whatever it is that you're putting out. 
I'm also getting you'll be able to take care of yourself. There's also something, yeah, there's a really good partnership here. All right, bottom of the deck is the Hermit. So, um, yeah, I feel like y'all have gone within about whatever this is, but I'm also feeling like maybe some of y'all have done some self-reflecting and gotten yourselves out of some type of stuck situation, possibly emotionally or internally, mentally is what I'm getting. I'm getting healing. I'm seeing balance. There's a balance of something here. Maybe there's something you read or um, something that you've watched that's helping you to balance yourself out, all right? Um, getting that you work better with people now. There's something about your energy. I feel like it's ready for whatever this new beginning is, all right? Um, okay, so let's, yeah, I really need to start doing these readings like before people come back from work because people just be talking. But anyway, let's see um, what the Oracle of the Dragon Fate is. Or what it wants to say. I guess it. What do you have for us with the Oracle of the Dragon Fate? Okay. Bottom of the deck, it had, uh, we have Ain and the Guardian Born Innocent. So um, there's something about your innocence here. Maybe people see you as innocent excuse me, or somebody with pure intentions is miss mostly what I'm getting. So we have card number 18, Tatsuya, have courage. So let's see what this is talking about. I'll read the divinatory message for this one. Okay, it says, the dragon fairy Tatsuya can turn up when the current is exploring new options in their life. Oh, that's the seven of cups that we got earlier. Moving to a new place, seeking deep change in their relationships, deciding to tackle a situation that's long been unsatisfactory rather than simply putting up with it. This card comes at a turning point in life. The, the death of the old self, the birth of the new, and the beginnings of creativity in your new form. Remember though that this new form came out of the old. Do not feel you must banish or discard who you were because being who you were without all of those experiences, you would not be who you are today. Make the choice to use your fear as a crucible for transformative opportunities. The human spirit is immensely beautiful and creative, as Tatsuya will show you. You have more to your lifeblood than you know. You're courageous, brave, inspiring, and heroic. Now is your time to become who you previously only dreamt of being. So whatever this is, this is putting you <laughs> in a place or i'm getting someone's getting their dream job or like something like that but whatever this is like i said we've seen the nine of pentacles this is going to put you in a spot where um you're not going to have to struggle anymore oh yeah this is definitely the moon energy if y'all haven't watched the um new moon reading go watch that because it talks about um literally this energy here there's something that y'all have called in all right that's going to change your life completely um okay so spirit is basically saying don't forget where you came from okay because i feel like whatever this is this is gonna put you up like people are really i feel like you're the one that people will be coming to they trust you that you're a trusted person in whatever situation this is all right yeah you're trusted because they um they feel you're they feel you're honest they feel that you're honest all right um uh, all right so let's see what else we have it's talking about like creation creativity once again so yeah this is this is some type of like creative endeavor creative worker you have created this all right in your reality so let's tap into the akashic tarot and see what the akashic has for us
Okay, bottom of the deck is Archangel Gabriel, card number three. So I'm getting, there's gonna be some type of communication or it's something that you're gonna be communicating or you're gonna get some type of communication. Did I just say that? I don't know, or you'll be communicating something. But we have the knight or the king of keys, but it's in reverse. So let's see what the king of keys in reverse is. King of keys in reverse. This is what it looks like upright. It says with this card reverse, you may have some difficulties with a man at work. There could also be a loss of a job or distancing in a relationship for you or men that you know. The success you seek may be eluding you right now, or you may be making a great effort without seeing it pay off. At this time, focus on understanding how your life's purpose can complement your career directives. When you have clarity on that, you'll know what actions to undertake. Whether you're a man or a woman, the King of Keys reversed might indicate a man or commerce who is stepping away from work who is not available to you or who is not available to you okay so some of y'all could be going from one job to another quitting one job and going to another maybe some of y'all are kind of afraid of like letting a job go um but i'm getting that whatever you're going into is going to be better you're going to be making more all right or um like you'll have more clients all right You'll just be in a better position. I'm getting a better position, all right? So yeah, like Spirit was saying, look out for um, communication here. Yeah, watch out for communication about an opportunity that you have prayed for. All right, um, okay, so let's jump into the ancestor deck. This is really good energy. Really, really good. Okay, so we, we will demolish them. <laughs> it's the last takes a turn. Fake pregnancy. Have their cake and eat it too. Spiritually protected. The original. Jealous ex. Demons. Jealous, heart chakra. Bottom of the deck is secret society. Block them. Mm. So you block somebody here. Somebody may have texted you when they were drunk. They want you to unblock them. Because they feel like they're their twin flame, but they're really childish. Watch out for new followers because they're seeing how beautiful you are and how connected you are. I feel like they know what they did to you. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, we. Okay, so. There could have been people or energies that tried to come up against you. Okay, the, during this cycle, somebody um, may have faked the pregnancy or like somebody is not um, the parent of a child or something. Somebody, yeah, have their cake and eat it too. Somebody was cheating on somebody. Somebody had broken somebody's heart. Yeah, y'all are protected from whoever these people or demons are. Somebody's demons cause them to be jealous of you because they have a blocked heart chakra or they were hurt a lot in life. Yeah. Um, 
they they were hurt a lot in life okay um this person may have tried to copy you or something like that or like get people that seemed like you or similar to you or like replicate your energy but you're the original and they know this your energy is protected you've been spiritually protected all right um there's something about your heart chakra i feel like you've healed something here with your heart chakra or your heart is just protected from these demons these jealous people these envious people because it's a lot of green so green with envy this person could could be envious of your whatever is going on in your life okay but you're protected from whatever whatever they feel like is going on or what whatever they're you're protected from them and their energy okay so let's tap into the angels deck it's like a group of people or maybe this jealous ex and his friends or like a group But Spirit said it's a them. We will demolish them. So whoever they are, whoever is part of this like society or whatever, they've been blocked by divine intervention. <laughs> this is ridiculous, crazy. This is a really good reading though. Very chill. Very, very chill. It's got me calm for sure. All right, let's see what the angels have to say. Good spirit, what do you have for the collective? What angel messages do you have for the collective? Good spirit. I had a feeling that card was gonna come out. Cause we did just talk about that. Do you have in the collective? Come on, it's so like sticky. Let's see what do you have for the collective? Ooh, we that's way too many, but I'll take it. I will take it. Bottom of the deck is Archangel Gabriel Inspiration. So I feel like you are an inspiration to people or you're gonna be inspiring people to do something here or you've inspired someone here. Let's see here. Let's see what we have. Dang. Okay, so we have Archangel Sandalphon Intention. So like I was saying before, um, I feel like people pick up on your pure intentions, uh, your pure nature, okay? Um, and for this job, whatever this is, I feel like that's going to be like what puts you on top or above others that have came before you or um, are there or something like that. You have Archangel Uriel freedom. So I'm getting some type of freedom. I'm hearing financial freedom as well. But you'll also be free to like move as you wish, do what you want to do. Um, not have to be like restrained or held back by anything. You have Archangel Raziel, intuition. So Spirit is saying to trust your intuition. Your intuition could be heightened at this time or heightening. Okay, that could be why we have the High Priestess and the Moon card here. Um, your intuition could be very high right now. Okay, so it's guiding you to wherever it is that you need to go. And wherever Spirit is guiding you is um, to some type of freedom here. And then we have Archangel Jophiel Liberation. So you could be getting free of something. Like I was talking about earlier about someone, some of y'all may be quitting one job and going to another, or maybe just like um, starting your own business or your business has popped off and you know now you're making money off of um, something that you really love. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Something, um, you're going into some, I'm just getting a lot of freedom. 
like free to do what you want to do. You're free. You're liberated. You've been I'm getting like the shackles, shackles, <laughs> the shackles have been released type of energy. Okay. Um, let's see here. Which one is next? Let's let's see how we should take care of ourselves. How should we take care of ourselves? How should we bring in this energy? Oh, wow. the deck we have positive affirmations so i feel like y'all should be speaking life into yourselves okay um speaking good things into your lives um yeah okay so how is this energy even <laughs> okay so we have card number 44 sex so this could be some of y'all inspire people like in that type of way you feel me um yeah i'm gonna just leave it at that you inspire people in that type of way maybe when people look at you that's the kind of feelings that they feel okay um i'm also getting maybe some of y'all are exploring that part of yourselves yeah i'm getting freedom there or maybe what sexually liberated sexual freedom okay it's all about intention i guess is what spirit is saying okay so what are your intentions in doing that what were your intentions in doing that it's about intention i feel like there's something about your intuition as well with that maybe it helps you connect to your heart or something maybe you'll be feeling more like this because you're just more creative that's that's, a, that's the ace of wands too what in the freak could some of y'all be only fans some of y'all do only fans what the freak some of y'all oh my gosh some of y'all do that on the low but y'all get really fast money whoa okay hey do you do you you have um burning bowl ritual this could be sex work whoa okay anyways burning bowl ritual so y'all could be trying to manifest or you've manifested something through a burning bowl ritual or this is what spirit wants you to do they want you to write down something write down your intentions for some type of freedom that you want and burn it okay something about the solar plexus and then we have abundance planning so i was talking about abundance earlier so yeah y'all are getting a lot of money here all right so y'all are going to um be balancing out like your money i heard your checkbook but Y'all are gonna be like allocating money to certain things that you need at this time. Um, maybe y'all weren't able to make certain purchases before, but now you'll be able to with this new opportunity, okay? So, <laughs> let's see what's up. Let's see what's up, let's see what's up. What do you have? What do you have to say? I'm just like, what is spirit? Okay, spirit really doesn't judge. Like the most high really doesn't judge. It's all about your intentions, is what spirit is saying. 
like wow yeah as long as you ain't hurting nobody out here shit it's free range is what i'm doing as long as you're not trying to bring nobody down on your come up on your climb up then shit is free range um no, let me just take one at a time please please What else we explain? Okay, one more. Please. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have ivory and peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So, excuse me, if you've been um, heavily burdened by certain things or energies or situations, spirit is saying to release those burdens and be at peace because something has been taken care of now something um yeah something's been taken care of now it may have taken some time but i'm getting um divine timing okay and it's just like it's a promise i'm getting spirit had promised you something here and this is only um this is fair spirits promised you something was gonna come all right and yeah y'all are gonna be able to teach people something here or like show something here to other people oh my gosh like okay so we have a shell medicine woman your channel for divine healing power so yeah whatever you're finna do whatever energy that you're putting into in this career or whatever opportunity this is because i just really feel like this is healing of some sort Okay, your energy it entices or solicits love or something like that. Um, more like people's heart chakra. It's the it's it's how it was the design. It's just like what I was um, saying in the beginning with the song. It's some type of design, or maybe it's how you you're designed or like created how you were created. All right, it's something about you. All right, and you can, you're this vessel that brings in some type of healing energy to the people that come around you, okay? So we have aim, leap of faith, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. So this is gonna require you, we do have this energy twice, okay? Um, with the full, we've been getting this energy like often, like take this leap of faith into something here. Um, yeah, Spirit is saying let go of your inhibitions, let go of your fears, let go of your worries, because it's something, it's something um, that you should be doing, but like, you gotta keep it on the low type shit, or you're keeping it on the low. I don't know, but Spirit is saying to do it, because you'll be really good at it, or you'll make, like, you'll make a lot of money from it, okay? Um, okay, and then you have abundance and prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. So once again, with the abundance energy, yeah, this, whatever, all the things that you've been through has brought you to this moment of just like being open to like, you know, whatever possibilities are out there because I feel like maybe some of y'all were thinking small and you kind of just like released certain ideas or ideals about something all right and you're just like you know fuck it like you're finna do something here um you're finna take this leap of faith you're finna do something that you've never done before yeah you're finna do something that you've never done before you're gonna be in charge of whatever this is or maybe schedules or your schedule or scheduling all right but whatever it is yeah you're inspiring people to do them and love them so i think love themselves all right so yeah that's what i'm getting so yeah i love y'all so much if this was um, helpful to y'all give me a thumbs up if you want a personal reading 
um that information is in the description box down below all right so yeah i love y'all so much and i'll talk to you later